Hey guys, how's it going? I want to talk a little bit about the Mark of the Beast. I just made a video on the two witnesses in the Mark of the Beast. And I said that in another video, I mentioned how the Mark of the Beast is symbolic. And somebody commented um, and said that the Mark of the Beast can't be figurative or symbolic because people who refuse to take the Mark can't buy or sell things. And uh, I thought maybe this is kind of a good comparison, maybe to help people understand. That's kind of like me or somebody saying that um, the pearl of great price, okay, that the pearl is physical and literal because, um, because this man sold all that he had to get it. He sold all that he had to get it, so the pearl has to be physical and literal. And you'd be thinking, you're missing the whole point. This is a parable that Jesus spoke. Okay, Jesus wasn't talking about a, par a, a pearl. Okay, he's talking about the kingdom of God. And he's trying to, you know, express a greater truth. Okay, and this is, this, this story is like an allegory. It's a parable. It, it represents, okay, this truth that Jesus really wants to get by. So for me to argue whether or not this pearl is figurative, you know, whether it's, it's phys if I try to argue that it's physical and literal, okay, I'd be missing the whole point, okay, and that's the way that it is re with Revelation. You know, um, Jesus gave John this vision, and John was told to write down what he saw, okay, John was not told to write down the interpretation of what he saw, okay, so John may have seen people actual people taking an actual mark okay and he wrote that down but it's our job to interpret and to understand what that means okay and these futurist teachers uh, they want they believe that this is all future prophecy this is all um, you know actual events that are going to happen so in the future at some point there's going to be a time where these people take this mark and um, you know, the whole world's going to take it, uh, but it's, it's symbolic of those who, um, those who take the mark are the ones who reject Jesus Christ, okay, and that's throughout all time, you know, it's not a physical literal mark, there has been times where, when there has been physical literal marks and stuff, like I've heard, I don't know a lot of the history about it, but, you know, Nero or whatever, he forced people to conform to him or whatever, um, you know, so yeah, there's stuff like that, but that's not what the scripture is trying to tell us. It's a greater spiritual truth, okay, and we should be able to understand that. And trying to make it into physical and literal is missing the point, and um, that's that, I guess. So, I just thought I'd share that. God bless.